Touch the wall, you dirty pig. This is disgusting. I'm closing it down. Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. As you probably would know, <laughs> if you uh, frequent this channel uh, often, and this show in particular. So what are we going to talk about? Well, we're going to talk about Amazon Flex and the fact that uh, they will no longer... Uh, be doing any restaurant deliveries. So for those of you who work for Amazon Flex, like myself, um, you won't be doing any more restaurant deliveries. So <clears throat> let's take a look uh, at the thing that I found out when I got this email. Now I got this. This here is from Reddit, but I have this same email. So it says Amazon restaurants update. You can see Amazon Flex up here on the top. Amazon restaurants will be closing later this month. After June 24th, you will no longer see offers for restaurant deliveries. You will continue to see blocks for all the other programs that Amazon Flex delivery partners support. Amazon.com, Prime Now, and Whole Foods. So if you have any questions, please contact support. So, uh, just to answer any questions that you have right off the bat... Uh, uh, we'll still be able to get the logistics as far as the package deliveries. There will still be Prime Now and there will still be Whole Foods. And I've seen people ask questions of like, of, uh, well, are we still going to have the Whole Foods or are we still going to have Prime? Yeah, you're still going to have uh, those two along with the logistics, at least for now. Um, you know, things change, you know, how that goes. Well, let's go ahead to this article here. So, why a stupid? Why do we have a stupid ad over here? How about that? Can I shut it? Close it. No thanks. Thank you. <laughs> why Amazon Restaurants was destined to fail and what it would need to do to succeed. The division shutters <laughs> on June twenty fourth. Uh, and then we got uh, up to date on ad fraud. Anyway, almighty Amazon's plans almost never seem to go wrong, with few exceptions. Like the Fire Phone. Hold on. I gotta look this up. Okay. So Amazon... Amazon had their own mobile phone? I didn't know that. I thought it was like an actual phone when you call the fire department. I... I guess you could call the fire department with that. <laughs> fire phone. What says is, not was, is a 3D enabled smartphone developed by Amazon and manufactured by Foxconn. Announced on June 18. That was five years ago. A 3D enabled smartphone. How does that work? Using four front facing cameras and a gyroscope to track the user's movements. The OS adjusts the UI so it gives the impression of death in 3D. Huh. Well, that sounds kind of cool, actually. Well, it obviously failed for some reason. Anyways, uh, getting back to the topic at hand. The food delivery can now be added to the list of the almighty Amazon fails. A rep confirmed Amazon is pulling the plug on Amazon restaurants, the company's ill-fated division, looking to cut into entrenched services like Uber Eats, Grubhub, and DoorDash. They don't feel the need to add Postmates to that. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, when you're only paying drivers like three bucks uh, a delivery... Uh, and that's not even counting if they add more orders from the same restaurant where, you know, hey, we got three orders from the same restaurant we want you to deliver, but we're only going to pay you three bucks. And maybe you'll get tips off of those other off of those other deliveries. But if not, <laughs> oh, well, anyway, it has a toe in everything there, it Amazon has a toe in everything. 
<clears throat> now it's off. And this wasn't immediately paying off. Just because the toe was off. So they pulled back, said Bill Duffy, research director at Gartner. They could come back again, but I think they found restaurant delivery is very competitive. Now you think? Beyond the statement noting a small fraction of Amazon employees are affected by the decision and will be offered personalized support to find a new role within or outside of the company. <laughs> so you know what that means. That means thank you for your services. We no longer need you. But here's a newspaper with uh, classified ads in there. Good luck. That is their personalized support. Maybe it's better. I don't know. The Amazon rep declined additional on-the-record comment on why Amazon restaurants are shutting down and what comes next. Well, see, Amazon doesn't want to admit how bad they failed. But Brian Eisenberg, co-founder of the agency Buyer Legends and co-author of the book Be Like Amazon, <laughs> doesn't see this as a failure. At the end of the day, they win by having data. He said, yeah, well, you know, that's like saying uh, going to the casino and doing a whole lot of uh, gambling and then, you know, losing hundreds, thousands of dollars. Well, I didn't lose. I won. I got some valuable data. Anyway, uh, here are five reasons restaurants didn't work this time around. Amazon restaurants. And what Amazon would need to do differently to successfully re-enter. Buy out the other delivery companies. That's one thing they could do. It didn't have enough monthly active users. MAUs. MAUs. <laughs> Duffy doesn't uh, expect the current news to have... Well, good old Duffy. Um, <laughs> he doesn't expect the current news to have much of a ripple effect on food delivery as Amazon restaurants was never much of a player. Amazon's Prime Now serve, uh, delivery service, which features restaurants along with Amazon and Whole Foods, is still pretty niche. And of the 130 restaurant brands that Gartner tracks in his index, Duffy noted Burger Chain Five Guys was the only one actively promoting Amazon restaurants. And I gotta tell you, Five Guys is freaking awesome. As far as their burgers and, and their fries are made from potatoes and... Um, you can go there and get your burger dressed up however you want it. It doesn't cost any extra. And they got chocolate bacon shakes. That's what I'm talking about. Plus free peanuts that you can grab and put on the table. Man, I'm telling you, Five Guys is freaking awesome. Love it. I love In-N-Out Burger too. But, man, after going to Five Guys, I'm like, I'm sold, man. <laughs> Five Guys is awesome. Hey, someone's sending me a message. Who's, who's sending me? Oh, it's DoorDash. How nice of them. It's super busy. I bet it is. Uh, <laughs> it's super busy because <laughs> Amazon's not going to deliver restaurant stuff anymore. Well, now we're busy. Anyway. In terms of growth right now, we're seeing fairly untrammeled growth among several of the major players. In terms of monthly active iOS users, that's favoritism that, uh, uh, for iOS. Well, what about Android? That That's like iOSism or, or something. Bunch of racists. Anyway, um, Grubber, blah, blah, blah. Grubber eats and dashing doors. Uh, for Gartner's figures, Uber Eats has more than 11 mouths, and DoorDash has nearly 10 million. So that's a large base of customers who are fairly loyal to these couriers and have not seen a reason to switch, and blah, 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 blah. So number two, it needed a better app. To break into the space, Amazon would have to be more active, and that includes educating Prime members that Amazon restaurants is a viable tool, given that many are already customers of its competitors. Okay. And then number three. In addition, Amazon's restaurants has been invisible in search. Grubhub appears in 56% of searches for restaurant delivery. Okay. Not going to give the percentages on the other ones? I, I, 
would have thought that might have been interesting. Uh, restaurants doesn't crack the top 1,500 pages on Amazon.com. There are millions of existing uh, lawyers, blah, blah, blah. And we have to click this button to continue reading. Number four, it needed restaurant partnerships. It's challenging for restaurants to work with courier services because the latter takes a cut of revenue. There are a few models. One is a sandwich chain, Subway, which is partnered with Grubhub, DoorDash, Postmates, and Uber Eats. See, now they mention Postmates. But, you know, one of the things when it caught, uh, in regards to partnering with certain restaurants, the one thing that really aggravates me about Postmates is that more than, it seems like more than half the time, um, I'll accept an order and I have to go there, place the order, pay for it, and wait. And I'm not talking about fast food. I don't mind. Fast food doesn't bother me because, well, it's fast. What I'm talking about is actual restaurants. Like, um, I was doing uh, a, a a few Postmates before uh, heading over to Amazon to to do my Amazon Flex shift, and the last order that I got was for a BJ's restaurant, and I figured, oh, okay, you know, I had like 45, 50 minutes to go do it. I figured, oh, okay, it's going to be a simple go pick it up and go deliver it. No, it was not. I, I, and I didn't know this until after I accepted it. So I accepted, I had accepted it. And then I look at the order and it's like a huge order. And, and it, and it wasn't, I, I had to actually place the order and then I have to, had to pay with the Postmates card and then, uh, and then wait and then go deliver it. And I'm like, no, the hell with this. I'm not doing this. I don't want to be late for my Amazon shift. So I, I, I unassigned that. And of course, I get this warning. If you unassign too many, we could ah, blah, 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 whatever. You know, maybe you should have put something, you know, before I accepted that uh, delivery as far as, oh, this is not paid. You'll have to pay that because, you know, I didn't know that until after I accepted it. It's like, I'm sorry, man. You know, in 45 minutes, I got other commitments. Uh, anyway, <laughs> rambling, getting off topic here. Uh, let's see, McDonald's, they've opted to work exclusively with Uber Eats. That's not true. This is not true. I've gotten them with uh, Postmates. I've, I've gotten orders from McDonald's for Postmates. So, whatever, dude. Uh, number five or its own restaurant-specific network. The ideal scenario, Duffy said, is pizza chain Domino's, which owns the entire supply chain and can maintain quality of delivery as well as the entire revenue platform. You don't want to ask my wife what she thinks about Domino's. <laughs> she doesn't like Domino's. That's a major logistical operation. That's hard to pull off, but we see some moving forward that forward forward moving toward that model in fact he said gartner has seen a slight uptick in brand owned delivery pickup and tools on restaurant apps and websites examples include bakery cafe chain panera and you all thought i was rambling it seems like this article is just rambling on here on and on and on and on and jeff bezos wants pieces of every retail dollar one way or another eisenberg added well eisenberg I don't know what to tell you, I guess. Um, but anyway, so that's the whole thing with Amazon and, and the whole failed restaurant thing and the fact that uh, us flex drivers will not be doing that anymore. I didn't. I didn't do any uh, restaurant deliveries. I've just been doing logistics. I figure, heck, I've got Postmates. I've got DoorDash. And I'm actually starting Uber Eats uh, this coming weekend. Yeah, I got enough uh, restaurant delivery stuff I don't didn't really need the Amazon for restaurant uh, deliveries. I just wanted it for logistics. Um, but I've read that some people have made some really good money off of the uh, the, the Amazon restaurant delivery. Um, but 
I don't know. What do you think? What do you think about all this? Does it does it bother you? Does it affect you? Did you like it? And now you're going to miss it. Um, let me know. I'm interested. And if you are new here, please subscribe and become a part of the Killer Nation. You can be part of my Shep Ramblers and my Killer Army as we take over the whole world with our uh, brand of entertainment. Because I got a lot of stuff on this channel. It's not just Shep Rambles. Got other stuff on here too. Music videos, flight simulator videos, gaming videos, music videos. <laughs> Lots of stuff. And uh, as far as Shep Rambles, it's, it's a whole variety of different types of topics. It just depends upon what I happen to see and what I find interesting. And I just go ahead and relate it to you. So, yeah. Um, that's about it. Uh, you might be thinking, you know, what do you think about Amazon Flex? Since I do Amazon Flex. Well, it definitely has its ups and downs, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> just like anything. Uh, most of the time, it seems like whenever I pick up a three-hour shift, they actually give four hours worth of work. Um, last night, I did a shift, and I would have had it done in three hours. But one of the lo locations I had to deliver to was a business that was closed. So I had to take it back to the warehouse afterwards. That took time. And then there was another one that was in a new, it was a new house and a new subdivision and the GPS didn't know how to find it. There were instructions from the customer on where to find it, but it was more like, this is a new subdivision uh, between you know this mileage block you know it wasn't overly specific and a lot of these new neighborhoods has got like this one road that goes in and then it all branches off into all these other you know maze designed roads which I mean, I've joked that the, pe the people who design these neighborhoods have never played SimCity <laughs> because if they played SimCity they would realize that their neighborhood designs suck because all this traffic would be bunched up trying to get out. Yeah, so if you're a neighborhood designer, play SimCity or City Skylines and figure out what it is that you're going to do before you make a, a freaking neighborhood where you got this one road that winds in and out like this. Grid. I like the grid system. The grid system works. Anyway, that's it. Let me know what you think about all this, and I will see you on another rambling video.